Good afternoon, YouTube. So we got a little, uh, a little catastrophe. Had a bit of snow last couple of days, and the guys are all plowing. And my one guy calls me up and says, "I got a weird noise in the front of the truck." So I said, "Does it do it in two-wheel drive?" We put it in two-wheel drive, and the noise went away. So I'm thinking it's got to be the front universal joints. And then we get the truck home and discover this. Five of the eight studs broke off. So uh, the wheel was loose, and that's the noise you heard in four-wheel drive. The thing's binding up, and, and the wheel was actually flexing and slapping against the, uh, uh, the rotor. So now we got to jack this thing up and try to push these old studs out and put new ones in. So that's what this video is going to be. Stand by. All right, we got the wheel off. Now I got to pull off this caliper and uh, and pull off the um, the rotor. And I think I'm not quite sure. I might be able to get them. I might be able to get them once this rotor's off. There might be room for me to get. A stud back through so let me take this off and we'll go from there instead of just taking the caliper off I decided to take the caliper bracket off also because you can either take just the caliper off and then the bracket but I, I can do them both at the same time so you want some yeah. you just want to put it up out of the way careful not to kink any of the hoses or break them I mean just put it up on your on your leaf spring so it's out of the way and then the uh, rotor should come right off. All right, there we go. Here's the damage. It looks like I'll be able to get to them. All these studs are broken off. They're pushed in. I'm going to take an air hammer and we're going to beat these out and then put new ones in. So stand by. Well, apparently some of the noise he was hearing was a universal joint. When I'm in lock, you can see there's a little bit of play so it looks like we're gonna have to replace these but not today because we gotta go to work so we're just gonna do these studs just get yourself a nice big hammer no heat necessary they just pop right out a few, few hard wax and they just jump right out so uh, let me get the rest of them out and we'll put the new ones in okay if you have the right tools great if not I just got a long bar I put the end of my jack handle on it to give me a little more length the spacers like we talked about you want to wrench them down see how that's showing you want to wrench them down so they're touching now that they're tight now we can put everything back together so hang on all right so I'm fat and old a little bit of a hangover so I might as well make the guy that broke it fix it so this is what we got big breaker bar not breaker bar big ratchet um, jack handle spacers mm -hmm. Guys trying to kill me and he's just going to tighten until we can get this guy done. Don't help me in the face. Easy, wild man. Okay, just one more. Boom, there it is. See? Perfect. <laughs> What's the matter, buddy? It's harder than it looks, isn't it? You have a little bit of a hangover. I have a lot of bit of a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're uh, moving right along. Got a couple more, and then we'll put everything back together. All right, there you have it, all back together, and looks like we're going to be good to go. Like I said, I'll, uh, oh, I don't know if I said it or not, but uh, we've got uh, three more studs that got to get ordered because, uh, uh, believe it or not, the store only had five. So three more are on their way, and uh, new lug nuts too. So after the storm, when we get them in, we'll get that all fixed. So that concludes this fun little project. So if you could uh, rate comment and subscribe thank you for watching